Meek Mill, Drake, Day night when you need Nicki Minaj. These rap artists have mega hits. Now meet the man behind the beats, Nick Papamitru. I make the beats, so everything but the vocals, like the drums and the melody, that's what I do. So that's like pretty much 50% of the song. Before the Billboard charts, Nick created beats on his own, imagining artists like Meek Mill rapping to his beats. He would post those beats on Instagram and tag Meek Mill. These people have like five, 10 million followers. So like when they open up their Instagram, like you don't, you're not gonna see that. But one day I just got lucky and I was in college and said Meek Mill liked my video and I got a call from him and then Meek's manager was on the phone too and they said they want to sign me and it was just history. Nick quickly went from creating beats in his basement to a Burbank studio. I got flown out to LA to work on Meek's mixtape called Dream Chasers 4. And that's when I first met Meek. That was like my first time in a real studio. Like the big speakers, like all the rappers, like cars, money, everything. I wasn't used to that. But like I knew I had to adjust if this was gonna be my life and it was wild. I stayed there for two days and I probably got two hours of sleep. Whirlwind trips to New York and Los Angeles are now routine three years later. But big time producer Papa Mitru Boy still loves small town life in Upton, Massachusetts. It definitely takes a toll on your body. I'll get a last second call too, like at eight o'clock at night, say, hey, we want you in New York tonight. I'd have to make, I'd have to leave like at nine o'clock, get there at like 12, stay in the studio until six in the morning. A self-taught producer, Nick began making music with his brother, Alex, and the two still work together. Their parents, George and Annabella Papamitru, say the brothers complement each other. They work together a lot. One creates one type of music within the same song, let's say, and the other one creates sort of the, right. the melody. So they put the both of those elements together, and it's, it's amazing. It's amazing, it yeah. I mean, we're impressed. Though mom and dad enjoy their son's music, it gets loud in the Papa Mitru house. Things do shake a lot, but honestly, I think we become immune to it. We don't even hear it half the time. Only when we look around and pictures are tilted and yeah. chandeliers fall. Type yeah, of actually, thing. we had a chandelier actually. It actually fall. fell on the table. <clears throat> because of the vibration of, of the house. Over the years. Oh, yeah. Okay. Small damage to the house has been worth it. Nick recently produced Meek Mill's album, Championships, which went to the top of the Billboard charts, a feat most artists can only dream of. But this 23-year-old is aiming even higher. I definitely want to be one of the biggest producers. I definitely want to win a Grammy. That's like on number one on my bucket list. In Cambridge, acclaimed Murdungam artist and composer Rajna Swaminathan shows off her South Indian percussion instrument. It's a double-headed drum. It's sort of barrel-shaped. You can tune it to a pitch. There's one side that sounds more like it's a pitched side, and the other side you tune with a cream of wheat paste, semolina, and water to get this really bass sound, but it also gives you some grace notes. The murdungam is used in Indian classical and South Indian music. My initial training started with my dad on the murdungam because he also plays. And I started listening to a lot of recordings of Carnatic music. That's the tradition that I come from. Inspired by jazz and her love for improvising, Rajna is breaking away from tradition and creating new sounds with the murdungam. She has played all over the world, including the Kennedy and Lincoln Centers. Someone came up to us and, and said, I couldn't tell like which parts were Indian and which parts were jazz or coming from different people. And what I thought I was supposed to hear from one person ended up coming from someone else. Um, and that's kind of exactly the reaction I love. But to actually explode all those possibilities and see something new and completely unexpected can happen. What's next for this young artist? Her band recently released their debut album of Agency and Abstraction, and she's pursuing a PhD in music at Harvard University. And I don't think I'm doing this PhD to be on the academic track. I kind of see myself going back into the freelance music mode after this so that I can get back out there and, and keep performing. 
This fall, Rajna is on a three country tour that takes her to Canada, England and Northampton, Massachusetts in mid October. And the hits keep coming for Nick Papamichu. Two of his songs have gone gold and that Meek Mill album hit platinum recently. And one of his tunes is on the soundtrack of a new Netflix movie starring Marlon Wayans. Next, searching for the key to curing millions.